and welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. We have a Timu haul. Now, here's the deal. I love Timu. I ordered three separate orders. They're all in here. I hate it when they do that because I really wanted three actually separate orders. I ordered them several days apart too. So somehow through processing and shipping and everything, they're now in one order. So instead of really three small hauls, you now have one very well, moderately large haul. This bag is not that huge. Um, but you know, I'm always surprised at what they can stuff in these bags. It shocks me every time. So let's take a look. Um, there is going to be an end to Timu hauls. It is not a, a, for, a fountain of forever. I do have, um, this month has been crazy month for Jackie. And I spent a lot more money than I should have. Bought a few more things than I needed. And dealt with stress all the wrong ways. Do not follow my example. And, um, but I just went, forget it. We're just going to do this. So the next many, 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 many months, I will be paying this off. And plus, the truth of the matter is, there's only so many clothes I can wear. There's only so many bags I can carry. And I, running out, I mean, I bought dresses. I bought pants. I have t-shirts, purses purse things, shoes, gifts. I'm kind of out of categories of things to browse and look at and need. I only need so many things. Need is relative. So this is a combination of free things, bought things. I had a theme going on because I I am I really, really like their t-shirts. Um, mainly because, let me, let me explain. I am a plus size, which is obvious. We can all tell I'm plus size. I have plainly told you how much I weigh. I'm 315 pounds. I'm five foot four. I'm short. I'm round. Um, so here's the deal. It is not easy to find t-shirts that fit me. And with women's fashion, somehow the cropped t-shirt or the cropped shirt has become fashionable again. Why? I do not know. And they come in plus sizes, and I don't like wearing cropped things. I didn't like wearing cropped things the first time it, it was on fash in fashion when I was in my 20s. And now I'm in my 40s, and I still don't want to wear a crop top. A midriff is not something you sport around, I don't care what size I am, in my office. My office, the coldest place in Texas, is an office building when it's 105 degrees outside freezing. I'm in my office wearing a sweater and then I go outside and it's like take make sure all the clothes are off because it is so hot. But anyhow, I like Timu t-shirts. I don't buy them from the women's section. These are all from the men's plus size section. So this is a men's 5XL. I like men's because they are um, consistent in length. They're ubiquitously consistent. Like anywhere. They're going to have a certain arm length. They're going to have a certain length of body. And basically the measurements are for the width of the t-shirt. And with the width, I know how it's going to fit. There's not, no weird cuts. It works. So this is Woman of the Bible. You know I'm a religious person. So it has all of the ladies. And there's not that many ladies in the Bible named here. So there's Esther and Hannah and Sarah and... Miriam, Ruth, no, Deborah, Ruth, who am I missing? Mary, Hannah, I think that's everybody. So this is a really cool t-shirt. Now these, um, the way these are applied are, they're screened on. Now I'm not sure long term how these are going to last. These might not last. So I, I have a feeling they won't, but for $9 a t-shirt, I like the way they feel, I like the way they wash. I do wash them inside out and cold in a gentle cycle. So I'm not trying to, um, and so far they've been fine in the um, dryer. And my, my sister's like, I would never wear a polyester uh, shirt. It doesn't bother me. They don't bother me because I, again, work in the coldest office building ever because I work, oh, this is cool. This is for my office actually. This is a um, fake plant, so I'll I'll leave this package because I'm going to take this to the office and I'll fluff it out and it has a cute little basket. It's just a cute little fake office plant. We can't have um, real plants at our office, so I have a whole desk full of fake plants. 
Ooh, I have a new sh new cross to wear. I really like this one. Um, I liked it when I saw it. Now I get these from the men's section. Um, so this is a very pretty stylistic kind of stone with a cross. I like ones like this a lot because it's not quite so obvious. Although it's, you know, it's still obvious. There we go. I'll wear that. I probably need to take off one of the, um, I probably won't. I'm actually probably going to wear all three of these. Um, this is a project product, and I've been waiting on this. I have a project bag, which I will definitely let you guys know about um, on the bag part of my bag channel, which is the whole channel, really. This is a paintable repairs filler. So this is a filler for leather. So it's a leather filler. So I have a bag that has the piping exposed and I tried to get it quote at Dooney and Burke and they said, we don't repair that. Then I went to a, a type of bag spa place or a couple repair places and they said, well, I can do it for, one person said $400, one person said $200, depending on how much service. And I was like, this whole bag cost maybe brand new it was probably $500. It's not brand new anymore. So now it's like I could buy a new one for 125 used on the market. So why am I gonna spend $200 to do, essentially, I might as well try doing it myself. So I'm gonna do some repair filler. I'm gonna do some paint correction with some acrylics. And then I'm gonna show you all the before and after photos. I might do a series. I don't know, we'll find out. These are some, I use these to polish my bags. These are just microfiber cloths. Everybody says get white cloth. I'm like, I didn't. So far I haven't had a single microfiber towel bleed or damage any of my bags. So I'm, I'm cool with it. This is, let's see. Ah, yes. My ode to the animal print. My husband does not like animal print, but I like this. And I bought all these green because I have all these new green handbags. Okay, I maybe have three green handbags, but that's a lot, right? And I wanted to wear my green handbag, so I had to get some green shirts and but first coffee because I live by that. Now, I actually don't drink coffee every day. I want to drink coffee every day, but I don't remember to make coffee every day. <laughs> so this is partially a... A two-part process. Remembering to make coffee, programming the coffee pot, and making sure I wash the coffee pot and doing it again every day. I don't always do that. Now, off the bat, I'm not a fan of this shirt. This is a different from the other ones. This is a performance type material, and um, I did it because I like, I really like panda bears, and it says I'm cute, but I really don't like this material. This is more like a scuba this is a 6XL. I don't know. I'll have to try. It's not as soft as the other ones, but it's a different vendor. So I got some of these 3M um, adhesive pads. I just need them randomly for things, and I figured um, they're double-sided adhesive things. Might as well just buy it from here, since I buy everything else from here. So we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel. This is a dress because I love their dresses. I went from having maybe three dresses in my entire wardrobe to I think I now have ten. Um, like I had to buy a whole set of different undergarments and to, to, to contend with all the dresses I now have. And I realized that to many people they're like these are just like shapeless sacks and they're big floral prints. And I'm a floral you know, I'm a round person. They normally say, don't wear these prints. I don't care. I like them. I really, I really like wearing these dresses. And if you want to see me in any of these clothes, just join my Instagram and I'm always showing photos. Um, I try to get, to get photos of me in, in dresses. I normally have to get my husband, hey, take a picture. He's the worst at taking pictures. Like, take two pictures. He always says, well, I took a picture. I'm like, well, that one might not look great. You know, so sometimes I just post the bad ones too. So you get all, you get all of it. There is no... You know. So this is a hat book. This is one of those free things I got. So you put this... I, I, I wear a lot of hats. So I have a lot of baseball hats. And they don't all have a home. And I like putting things on hooks and on walls. And this is going to go... And you just stack your hats. 
and it has an adhesive pad in here. I'm probably going to find a flat, smooth surface. Now, here's the thing about Asian countries in general. They have a lot of... In America, we have... When we use our construction of our homes, we put um, gypsum board up, and then we put a texture on it, and then we do... Um, so you put tape and float your sheetrock. Take tape, float, sheetrock, and then you texturize it, right? And at least here in the south. Now up in the north, they leave it smooth, and they normally paint, paint it smooth or paint it with, um, or put wallpaper on it. In the south, we put orange peel texturizer. So it has a texture on all the walls. That is the, you can't really use these on that. And on Asia, the walls are smooth. And they have a lot of glass surfaces. Uh, so And a lot of tiled surfaces. All of their wet areas will have tile a lot of the times. And, um, or at least smooth. And a lot of the construction is the concrete walls because at least in Southeast Asia, because everything um, rots. It's just the humidity factor. So it's not, in America, it's stick frame construction, and we use wood, and not even, and a lot of places use aluminum now, or not, not aluminum, excuse me, metal studs, not wood studs. So here, especially in the South, our construction's cheaper because our materials don't have to be as robust as the North because of our, our climate is different, especially here in semi-arid Texas. It's really meant to keep the heat out and keep it cool, but it doesn't have to have, I mean, it's just insulation and it's sheetrock and it's stick and frame, right? So um, a lot of the rest of the world, you're like, why do we always have these with these smooth things? It's because in the environment that they're in, these work. These work on tile. These work, what you're, these kind of adhesive strips work really well on a smooth surface that's clean of oil it works horribly on textured walls so these things work the best 3m all of the command strips all of them they work better not on textured paint just saying rant rant over not even a rant just an education let me pull out the last couple things and that's the last couple things so let's see oh i got a what did I get? Oh, some teeny. Oh, oh, okay. I I didn't mean to buy two sets of three sets of whatever I ordered. I thought I ordered a set. Let's see what I ordered. Three sets of these are stud earrings. Oh, right, they are a set of three. Rainbows, little leaves, and these have a really interesting back to them. Um, I'm sorry you can't really see them. They're just so they're incredibly tiny. These are little watermelon crescents. They're very tiny. You're not going to see what the images are, but they're just little earrings, stud earrings. Um, let's just see what this is. Oh, oh, this is a Persh. I bought two of these. Another Persh um, extender because I thought these are just so pretty. I think I had seen these before on Amazon and I passed them up on Amazon. And um, let's take a look. Have they put a rubber band on these? These are packed very well. There we go. Interesting how they secured them. So it's on um, a line, an aluminum, a wire line, like a, and then crimped with ends. That's good. That will make sure it holds really well. Um, looks, these are just very impressed. That's very good quality. Because a lot of these are metal links when you buy the other types. So this one, the string, the string, the pearls up, they use like, like picture wire. A lot like picture wire. So it's twisted um, me me metal threads and then they um, crimp a metal plate at the end with the loop so that it can hold a bag. Nothing's worse than having your bag come undone because um, something snapped and that's happened to me before actually unfortunately more than once and so now I actually look at all the lengths of all my metal extenders to make sure they're crimped closed well um, this is a sparkly cross I just thought it was pretty this chain I can tell is too small but I don't normally wear crosses that are traditional because um, I sleep in my jewelry and they stab me in the neck so, not the best look um, or feeling. I'm going to hang this over here with all my other ones. And, oh, I think I got a phone case. I keep dropping my phone. 
bad me. My poor phone. Uh, the fact that this phone has not been destroyed is, is a testament to Samsung because, man, good thing I got the protection plan. Now my husband won't let me get a phone without a protection plan. So it's pink with glitter, and I'll show you. I'll change it out. This is um, hearts with glitter. Let me change it right now. So this is a Galaxy 22S Ultra or something like that. I can't remember. Something along those lines. I love this phone. And I should go to um, an Apple phone again. But I'm, I'm just gotten used to the Android. Like we used to have Apple. And then we had Apple when it was exclusive with AT&T. And then we kicked at t to the curb, and I was like, I'm never, I don't want to talk, I don't want to use Apple ever again, because um, I'm done with at t and then I switched to Samsung, and then at t I think they lost their, you know, exclusive whatever contract with Apple. That's not how long ago this was. And now we're with, um, we were with Sprint, and they were bought out by T-Mobile, and um, I think my husband's at the point where he wants to kick Sprint out the door our T-Mobile out the door and go back to at t We're just waiting for our contract to, to ride out. I think we have another year. And then we'll sign up. And I'll probably get an iPhone then because he'll talk me into it because this is my husband. Although I like the Galaxy just fine. I like Android. Anyhow, thank you for watching my um, three orders in one. Uh, Timu haul and the clothes. Uh, follow me on Instagram and you can see me wearing these clothes. And um, right now I'm actually wearing all Timu. And even my earrings, my necklace, let's see, one ring, two, one bracelet, okay, one bracelet, one ring, three necklaces, and actually two rings, this one little ring right here. This is stainless steel, this is sterling silver, this is argentium, this is white gold, this is sterling silver, this is stainless steel. I like mixed materials. I enjoy, this is my polyurethane braided bracelet. I took a shower in this. I sleep in this. So far I've been wearing it for about two weeks. No problems. Um, by the time you see this, I've been wearing it for a lot longer. This is mid or at the end of August and you will probably see this video at the end of September. Thank you for watching my video. I'll keep you posted on my try to repair my bag <laughs> and see how it goes my amateur amateur restoration anyway thank you for watching my 17 minute video have a great day bye